Hello everybody, Taj here. Welcome back to another episode of Project Sacrifice. So, sorry about the last video, it was very, very annoying. I had like a couple of hours of footage and none of it was usable because of the microphone. Some of you did appear to enjoy that type of content, so I will try and do some of that in the future. I should have tested it beforehand, but I still very very annoying but here we are in another episode so what happened last episode we upgraded all of this to be a lot faster got the spout working got all this done so it's a lot more faster got the mechanical press a lot faster got the mixer to be automated what i think we should do start setting up a lot of different one of these around the island so i say we have one over here too where we operate our crushing wheels and possibly other things that we may do in this episode we also have little john here uh he's probably gonna grow in about 10 minutes but still he's he's just a little guy he's a pretty cool little guy i do find him quite cool um what i wanted to tr maybe try and do is rather do a steam engine you need a block hopper and just like alloy and a gold plate but you also need a blaze spawner you need four iron blocks and a dried kelp block and then we can also make ourselves another blood altar like a new one like an upgraded one and then this which we can craft now so let us craft ourselves uh whatever that was fire charge you know, just need gunpowder, lightning charge, and coal. So he has a gunpowder. We have two guns powder, actually. Uh, we just need coal, and we need to make a lightning charge. Now, I'm pretty sure it's using the mixer, but you have to create something first. Yeah, you need blank slate, lapis, and nether quartz. Pretty sure we have a blank slate somewhere. We do not. Now, what can we... How do we craft rocky dirt again? So I need gravel and three pieces of dirt. Let me do that. Make ourselves a blank slate. Let's go over to the mixer over here. Throw that in. All right. You can see how fast the crush has become. Instantly able to get it. Now craft ourselves a fire charge. Now what else do we need for cobblestone generator? We're probably going to do a tier 4. Just because it's easier. Glass and water bucket. we got glass and a water bucket. Cobblestone generator. Now I don't know how these work. Let's place it here. So that's just going to generate cobblestone, obviously. It says that's doing a number of cobblestone. Now, I don't know how I'm supposed to collect it. I'm sort of going to leave it just for now. Then we'll see where it is. All right, I'll get rid of this dirt, to be honest. It just doesn't look the best. You want to... I think I should organize it more. I need spruce. That's what I need. Also, something I learned with the sapling, if I have any, if I do this, and I do that, instantly grows them and if i just press that it insta mines it how do you make spruce because that's what it looks like all this wood on nature essence and two while i sacrifice my life right now i'm going to tell you guys about what project sacrifice is project sacrifice is you start out on a tiny three by three island with a blood altar in the middle and you sacrifice your life energy to produce stone or dirt essence the blood that you sacrifice goes into the altar and you can altar things like if you put a bucket into the altar it'll turn into a water bucket or if you put dirt into the altar it turns right. into tree essence i think back to the video yeah, we've done that i actually need to check how we can make it here something altar so we need 20 runes and four glowstone uh blood altar Take the blood altar to tier 3, place 5 blood runes, 1 block down and 2 blocks away from the previous set of runes along the edge. And place 2 blocks indicated by the stone bricks in each corner starting above the new rings of runes then cap each pillar with glowstone blocks. Okay, I reckon that's what we should probably do. So I said 2 blocks away. For these part of the videos, I'm deciding to just do a voiceover during it and just talking about what I do. So obviously, I expand the thing by two, and I, I look at I look at the pig for a little bit, and push him around. Uh, so basically, this series, um, I've just started to do this. There's no replay mod, unfortunately, and there's no way I can add replay mod. So it's very, very unfortunate. But this part, in particular, particularly with doing all the T3 blood altars, was very, very time consuming. But while, while in between, I sort of did a, crafted a bunch of spruce. Boom. Some spruce saplings. Because spruce is sort of like this, 
Oh, okay, that's a lot of Podzil. I forgot that it produced Podzil, so... Hmm. So once I got all the spruce, I decided to just make everything look better involving the wheel. Just because it would match the theme a bit better of the fact that it's just like, oh, it's a great thing and it's all spruce, it looks like. So, yeah. I also placed blocks at the front and the sides of the machine just to make it sort of look like a lot more organized and just a lot nicer in general. I think this is a really good idea. I am open to other ideas involving my building that you guys recommend. Hmm. I don't know how I'll take it out. Maybe it's using item pipes. Ah, oh, the item pipes on me. Yeah. So we have now figured out how to do that. No, just gonna figure out how to get. Oh wait, I think I know. We need these liquid tanks. We need fluid managers for the liquids. So it'd probably lay around this far in these rooms that we have so far. Let's make ourselves a blank room. We need a blood orb as well. Let's take... Oh yeah, we had to use andesite last time, didn't we? Weak blood orb from our thing. Mostly what I did with this part was just researching how to make blank runes because I had a mind blank and also the reinforced runes that, that it had given me was just like... I didn't know how to use them and I just went with the basic blank runes and so basically for maybe an hour or so I just dedicated my time into making blank orbs and the runes. I also then started production on how to like do all the glowstone stuff and so that took a lot of time because I had to sift a lot of gold and quartz and lapis and then I had to put them into the mixer and it all mixed together. And it was just so much like time dedication to this. And as you can probably see in these, some of these bits, I'm like constantly refilling the water. And what I did was I ended up making three sifters, making them all work together. And unfortunately my parents walked in while I was recording and they're on the phone with my grandparents. And so I just talked to them. I paused the recording, but I was still kind of doing work because they were talking about other stuff offhand. And so I spent probably 50 minutes sifting all the resources. And so here we are now. I transferred all the stuff from this, like using hoppers and stuff, just so it's a lot easier. I finished all the glowstone stuff and I just waited to do all the blank slates. Let's make ourselves some andesite. I don't know how to make it. So, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that should be level three. Oh, I actually need. Okay. So I needed to hold all of them in my hands first. We can just do one at a time. Let's get ourselves a water bucket. After this, I went and just got all my blocks, as you can see in the footage now. Unfortunately, I lost about four of the runic blocks while mining them, and I lost like maybe three, four glowstone dust, just because of the fact that I was supposed to hold it all in my hand at the same time, instead of just placing them all down and it counts it as it goes. It's a bit dumb that way, but... I, I understand why it's sort of that way, but it was, I still grinded back and got all the stuff that I needed back. And then we got three lightning charges, just spray it with water, just cause, you know. And then let us craft our four glowstone. And now, we've got tier, th we're gonna be getting a tier three altar. As I was building this, I started to doubt myself and didn't know if I did the gap correctly. That looks like a one block gap. I then started watching a YouTube tutorial on how to make a tier 3 altar to see if I had done it right. Alright. Yes. Okay. We have done it right. 
then finished all of the stuff that I needed to with the T3 altar, including like placing the rest of the room blocks and the rest of the glowstone. I also was trying to figure out how to determine whether or not it's a T3 one yet, but unfortunately I needed like a side or something like that. Can't remember. And then I started production on a water wheel the exact same as the one I've already built, but for the crushing wheels. I used spruce to decorate it and I went through using it like destroying all the cobble that was already there before and just doing all that. Hmm, actually, just enough to make him run faster. There's like a big one connected to a small one and then a small one connected to a larger one and then la 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 la. Alright, craft more. Shops. I started tinkering around with all the different speeds as I realized I could reach a new purple speed, which makes it unbelievably fast. What I was trying to do most of this footage was trying to set up the crushing wheels in a way where it would work, obviously. But it just like wouldn't spin opposite directions, and I got stuck with this for about an hour. I already have a gearbox. So I accidentally crafted one earlier. Thinking that I could have needed it. As stated just, like just before, uh, obviously it was taking ages, it was overworked, I had to like do different complex things and then the crushing wheels wouldn't go a certain way and then it, it just frustrated me so much and then I just decided I'm just going to make a bunch of sifters, automatic sifters instead just because it's just so, so much easier. Because, uh, let's just, let's just leave it. I'll keep this up, so then, like, it's just better. We'll have to craft another sifter, but I think, I say we'll craft a couple. I started setting up all the sifters in a row and crafting new sifters and hoppers and all other things that I needed, including connecting all the gears, Sometimes it would become overworked, so I added another one or two water wheels just to make sure it can hold all of them. After that, I decided to go get my encased fan, and what I didn't realize is Johnny is missing. I don't know where he's gone, but I can't find him. I don't think I realized in the video, but he is nowhere to be found. So, hashtag save Johnny. I don't know where he is. Help me find him. Pick up this water. What's an iron? Turn that into a vegetable gear box. Place that like that. Put the encased fan like that. Put the depot like this. And I could connect it all to the depot so that it automatically does it, but I think I'll do that later on. I set up the encased fan and did all of the stuff that is needed for this. I then transferred all the materials that I had sifted before into the chest. If you guys have any feedback on how to make the crushing wheel work and how I can make anything faster or anything involving that, it'd be amazing. And yeah. That will be the end of the video. Alrighty. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. I do enjoy making this series and I do enjoy making longer episodes. So I'd love if you guys stuck for the whole way through. If you guys did, thank you a lot. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.